Coles has several restaurants located in Bronxville, New York, Norwalk, Connecticut, and Portland, Maine. They're known for their grilled pizzas, wings, and craft beers. Come on in and grab a slice to see what all the hype is about. What's going on guys and welcome back to the Hungry Road. Today we are here just about 14 minutes away from my hometown, Yonkers, New York. We are in Bronxville, New York, the next town over here at a place called Coles. Now, thank you to Tommy, one of the main, or the main wing addict up there in Connecticut. He told me to come down here to Coles because they actually did a review on the sister restaurant. So I said, yo, you gotta come check this place out. So right now I have a flight of beers in front of me. And it's Wednesday, so it's flight night. You get a flight of beer, four of them, for only six bucks. That's a great, great deal here. And there's so many on tap up here. So I'm just gonna go down the road real quick and then uh, try some of these beers out. So we have the first one here, it's called Run and Hide. So the Run and Hide is gonna be from New York. Oh, we have a, a note just slid in here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, she was helping me out. Thank you, what's your name, miss? Huh? Marissa, she's shy. It's okay, it's okay. So, yeah, so running high is a 7.1 ABV. This is a uh, double IPA dipper. I'm not a beer, beer fanatic or anything like that. So double IPA, I know I don't like those, but typically those are the strongest ones. So let's give it a shot here. This is from New York. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Now that's not too bad. Usually I'm expecting a lot more hops, a lot more bitterness, but it's pretty mild on the bitter. There's a little bit of an asterisk to taste. What is it, pineapple? I don't know, what, I, what, am, I what am I tasting, Marissa? I don't know, I'm tasting a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, well, shoot, the can just slid in here. Let's see what we got. Let's read the can here. Uh, we got flaked oats, wheat malt, BDH, citrus. That's the, I mean, pineapple is citrus. So is lemon and all that stuff and orange juice. Let's move on. All right, some more information came in as I was getting ready to move to the second beer. So the actual owner of Coles here started brewing his own beer, which is the Run and Hide. So that's pretty, pretty cool right there. He does collaborations with other companies around the country or state or whatever, but that's awesome. Great, great beer. Let's move on here. We have what's called Fiddle, oh, Second Fiddle from Fiddlehead, which is located in Vermont. Now this is an 8.2% ABV, a little bit stronger than the running high we just had there. Let's give it a little sip. That's a very different flavor. That kind of coats your mouth. I don't know how to explain it. This was just, just a bit more bitter than the last one. But that coating of the mouth is very crazy. Let's do it again. I think the coating of the mouth is what makes it more bitter because it's hitting more of the taste receptors in your mouth. Pretty, pretty good beer. Still another IPA, but not bad at all. All right, third beer of the evening. We have what's called Lunch. This is from Maine. It's a brewery called Maine. Obviously, it's in Maine. Let's give it a little shot. Decent little color here. I didn't look at the color of the other two yet, but let's go ahead. Give it a good smell. Hard to smell. Another IPA. Now, that one has a pop. There's a pop of flavor right as soon as you sip it. It sits on top of your tongue. One more time. This is hard. I don't know how to depict these flavors. This is crazy. Cause it's not good with the beer, cause it's like so, food's different. You know, ingredients are like mixed all in and stuff like that. You can kind of taste them with beer. It's like fermenting in it for like months and years where the, the flavors change and do crazy stuff on a molecular level. That's chemistry, don't worry about that. But anyway, hold on. I don't know, it's like a savory almost. Like a savory, just a, a hint of savory on top of that. Pretty, pretty good. I think this might be my favorite of the three that I've had so far. All right, so we have the fourth beer here, fourth tasting, as so, so to speak. We have this guy here, pretty yellow in color. I'm assuming another IPA, no big deal. We'll get through it, we'll get through them. So this was called Green City from the Other Half Brewery. It's also in New York. I'm not sure what part of the state or whatever, but let's give it a good shot here. It 
instant favorite of the four. It's very light. It's very fruity. I'm actually very surprised at, I'm not tasting a lot of bitterness. I'm just not tasting a lot of hops like I would normally taste or what I would think I would taste. Maybe because that's the cheap beers I've tried and not like the good one and a good craft stuff like this. This is excellent. Like I would do this on a regular basis. So I'm not a beer guy. I like gin and tonics, wine, tequila. They're really, really super fun stuff. <laughs> but I got some wings coming out, so I can't wait for those. All right, y'all. We got four more beers. We're going to put these to the side for now because I got to get these wings. They're nice and hot. Put these over here out of camera range. So the wings, they're well known for their wings here. Look like a pretty okay size. Probably about a six or seven on the weedy wing scale. But they're flash fried and then grilled for that good char. And there's two flavors here. It's a straight up buffalo, and then there's like a maple rosemary. We've got a menu right here. You can see them right here. Classic buffalo or maple rosemary. 15 bucks gets you about 10 wings a pop, but you can split the flavors if you get one order. Not a big deal, I'm a big man. I need wings. I had a light lunch. <laughs> we got our bone plate. Let's get started here. Let's go ahead and start with the buffalo. There's no blue cheese here. I like that. They got the confidence. You don't need blue cheese with your wings. Let's go ahead and grab a wing. Check it out. They smell amazing, to be honest. Let's get rolling in the extra sauce. Rolling in the extra sauce. Check it out. Oh, look at that. Go ahead and clean it. Very classic buffalo flavor. There's something a little extra on it. I can't, I can't put my finger on it. There's some a little extra. Let's do another one. Just that was pretty quick. Roll it. Ooh, you see that drool? I didn't. One more time. Let's give it a good smell. You get the smell in my system. Is it lemon? It's something extra. Good butter. Good vinegar, good heat, good acid, good crispy skin, tender, well cooked. I don't know what that extra is. I know wings. It's like classic with just a little bit of a twist. Mm. Buffalo has a hint of sweetness to it, which it's like an underlying, not a like base, but like the steeper to a church. It just adds a little bit of extra. That's very worth it. So, fun fact, while the camera was off, they heard me talking about blue cheese on, on camera, and then one showed up. I said, where'd it come from? He said, if they even hear it, they bring it over. Because it's not served with the wings. It doesn't need it. And it's not homemade, it's store-bought. It's, it's from somewhere else. Like, I really don't want it. You know, it's okay. These are, they shine by themselves. You don't need blue cheese. They're not that hot. We have three or four on heat scale, whatever. Let's move on. The rosemary wings. We got the rosemary sprig. Reminds me of lamb. I can't wait for these. Let's check these guys out here. These look great. Good. Deep, 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 dark red color right there. Nice and hot. Serve these like ceramic dishes. Let's clean it. The maple syrup is very dense, so it holds the heat well. So these will stay hotter than these will. But the flavors, really, really good. Not terribly sweet. Good, good hint of sweetness. The rosemary kind of calms it down just a bit. It's not overwhelming like I, I thought it would be. You put too much rosemary in like your meat or your lamb, you, you, you taste all the rosemary, nothing else. They, they, they did it really, really well here. Good, good job, guys. And the rosemary is just so robust, so savory, so full, such a great flavor. All right, let's go back to the beers for a little bit. We do have another flight of four here. Let's start up over here. This is Crossroads Brewery. This is their house lager. So lager, you can see it's a much more clear beer. Only a 5.2% ABV. Let's check it out. Very light. Very, very, very little bitter there. Very good, very good. Let's move on. 
uh, we have Bell's Oberon. I'm very familiar with Bell's. I went to the University of Michigan. This is where the brewery is. Just give it a good taste here. So it's pretty clear. I think we're going to have that lager or an ale. Check it out. More full. Definitely more full than this one here. Uh, this is just a, a bit more on the ABV side. This is a 5.2. This is 5.8. Not a bad tasting beer. You kind of drink it. It's getting hard to distinguish, you know, if you drink them back to back, then you can kind of distinguish a little bit of flavor between the different beers. But this is also very, very good. All right, we got a very interesting one right here. This is like a red. So this, well, I don't know what this is. This is, a, this is a pale ale? Is this an Irish ale? A strawberry ale? I don't know what this is. But this is King's Court Brewery. This is Sassy Sunset. This gotta have some food in it. Let's check it out. Oh, that's a sour. Shout out to Scrams. She loves her sour beers. Scrams is different from Bay. But Scrams is not Bay. Bay is Bay. Anyway, this is this is decent. It's, it's sour. I don't know how many of these I could drink because it's so sour. It's not like a warhead, but boy, it's got some kick to it. Alright, last but not least, with the longest name of all the beers. So this is the Barrier Brewing Company, and the, the name is called Tripping Animals Money Rabbit. <laughs> T-R-M-R, -R, I don't know, whatever. Or T-A-M-R. Let's give it a good shot here. Looks like another IPA. Definitely an IPA. They're not my favorite, but it's a beer. It's definitely drinkable, it's not trash. But anyway, guys, this is another episode of Wing Wednesday, The Hungry Road. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If your first time seeing my face, go ahead and smash the subscribe button, like the video, comment. Where are some good wing spots near you? And I would love to come and check them out. I'll be all over the place. And what are your favorite breweries? I would love to do brewery tours because they always got food trucks outside. And food trucks are the most local of all local businesses. All right, guys, take care. Stay safe. Thank you. This place is legit. The wings aren't the biggest, but the flavor speaks volumes here. I've never had anything like maple rosemary before, so I do highly recommend coming to check this place out. You won't get a whole bunch of flavors and stuff like that, but that's okay. You gotta make sure to try out their grilled pizzas. They're just like giant flatbreads, and they looked amazing. I'm sad I didn't get to try one out.